Hi guys, uh, in this video I'm gonna discuss with you an idea I have or had uh, regarding actual fans and basically an idea that could make actual fans more efficient. I haven't seen any manufacturer doing it so I don't know if it's uh, feasible or doable. Uh, I've drawn here a motor, that's a motor of a typical actual fan, that's the shaft and to the shaft is attached an impeller or propeller. I'm not gonna draw it right here. And all of this is inside the casing. Uh, oops, no. what have I done? Let me take a blue color. So basically, uh, that's the casing here. We're in the casing and uh, the motor is inside and here we got the impeller and now I, I don't want to draw that because uh, it just gets in the way so I'm just going to remove the casing as well and um, basically uh, I discussed that in a previous video and basically we have several types of engine mountings for instance the most common one is the B3 the engine itself has some feet and, and then that engine with its feet are mounted on some sort of platform inside the casing and uh, there's the impeller the impeller is here let me just draw a, a circle there's the impeller driven by that shaft and pushing air either this way or that way and um, that's one of the most common uh, uh, setups that I saw Another setup that I saw is basically you have the, that's the B3 setup, foot mounted motor, B3. Another setup that I saw was this, the motor is like this. Here are the cooling ribs of the motor, here's its shaft. And that setup was the B30 or pad setup and out of that motor came rods which attach the motor to the casing and there's another rod coming this way and that way that way that, that. they were in total eight rods and uh, that's the b30 setup and that setup was uh, aerodynamically uh, i mean by the looks of it much much more efficient than this setup less components in the airstream and smaller components and there wasn't this i think this setup uh, um, uh, causes much less drag and performance loss than this setup now what i thought that the problem is with those b30 uh, motors those are special motors special b30 motors because uh, they need some anchors uh, on their on their outer shell for you to be able to attach those rods to and thus they're much more expensive well i'd say more expensive than those b3 motors so i thought why doesn't anybody do something like that take a b3 motor okay take off its feet you can do that they're just screwed on and then let me now use a different color And then why not clamp that motor in a sort of structure? That's a sort of a clamp. Okay, you've got here like some sort of screws or something which clamps that motor at the front and at the back as well. And that structure has, is then connected to the casing via such And this side and uh, another one. And those are like uh, veins in the airflow. And what they do, air would come like this, drawn by the impeller attached to the shaft. Air would come like this, go over those veins, also acting as motor attachments. Thus, those veins would clean up that turbulence of the air and thus del uh, uh, deliver a much uh, less 
the turbulent air to the impeller than with that setup. So basically, uh, the, the motor pickups or the motor attachments are not only attaching the motor to the casing, but also acting as guide vanes, which are cleaning up the air of turbulence before having that air reach the impeller. Or the other way around, if, if air flows this way, then those vanes would clean up the air after that air leaves the impeller and thus minimize the drag in this area. So that's an idea I haven't seen often. And the nice thing about this idea, you don't know, you don't need those special B30 motors, which are more expensive. You just get a B3 motor, just take off the, its feet. And all you need is this structure here, which is, I think, easy to, to do, you know, in, in, in sheet metal or something. And you need a clamp here where you just, these are two, two halves, these are two halves, and you, you just clamp them with a screw and, uh, and that's it. And if you need to take off the motor, just open up the screws here and take the motor out and, and that's it. And, and those, those bits are then attached uh, via screws to the, to the casing. Here you got a screw and so on. So I thought this, this is an idea which could, could work. I don't know, I'm not an expert in that, it's just that, you know, I, I've, I've seen a lot of action fans in my day and um, I've never seen this setup. And I think this setup is quite interesting. I don't know.